Hey everyone, Tyson the Super Specialist from Super Print Storage here. Today, I'm going to show you how to install the plate bracket or how the dealership installs the plate bracket on the 24 Outback. It's the same on the Legacies. It's that new plate bracket style. And take a look here. We've got these hooks on the back. They end up hooking up top here. And then there's a couple holes that you have to drill. Now, the hardware for that comes with the plate bracket. We've got these little rubber plugs and on the inside you can see they're threaded. So essentially, I have to use this giant drill bit, which is a little scary, especially for the customers if I'm doing it in front of them. And I have to drill holes. There's two pre, I guess pre-indented holes for them. So I always like to do pilot holes. Makes it a little easier, a little less scary for it. And I, I really don't like doing this because putting a hole in a new vehicle just feels unnatural to me. So you just line up. And this one's gonna take a little bit longer because it's got the, it's got paint protection film on it. So, I mean, you can see on the camera, little black hole already. And that's just for me doing the pilot hole. I actually end up doing a couple of them. And obviously, since I'm doing this on camera and talking at the same time, it's gonna take a little bit longer than if I was doing it with out recording. So if you guys have any questions about this, please put it in the comments below. I'm more than happy to answer you guys' questions. This is the scary part, the big one. So this is why I do the pilot holes because uh, it's a lot harder to mess up. Doesn't feel not, it doesn't feel nice and it doesn't feel right doing this. And I know the camera angle is not the best. So let's see here, that one. Come on. Of course, it doesn't want to work proper. Oh, there we go. Okay, perfect. So now, little rubber plugs go in. I think having the actual little bit of paint film actually made that a little bit more difficult. And you do all it was end up with these little black pieces of plastic which I have to clean up. Bit of a pain after that. So essentially what you do, you hook it and I know kind of hard for the camera to see but they line up. You do have to hold them in place and you do want them to have to kind of pull them so it applies pressure so the plate bracket doesn't come down. Now the bolt that you use for that, it's a 10, it's a 10 mil head for the uh, piece that I put in my pocket here. So I found it, so it's just a 10 mil head. And the bolts that come with it, they're already pre-Loctited, red Loctite. So you put this back on, you line it up and I never torque this to max I always go with between four and six because you want it to you don't want to absolutely tighten it to the max do set it five on the drill right now and I'm actually gonna go up to seven just until that and that is the plate bracket so we do come it they do come with these little heart screw hardwares um, Unfortunately, with the collars on them, there isn't room for a plate bracket, even if has someone someone has an aftermarket one. A little bit of a pain. Uh, you can use Phillips on it to tighten it down when the plate's on, and or you can use whatever size. I, it might actually be a 10 mil as well. It is a 10 mil as well. So that is uh, a quick and dirty how to install a plate bracket on the front of a 24 Outback and Legacy. If you guys have any questions, I'm in British Columbia. That's why we're legally required to have a front plate bracket. I know lots of places aren't under that law and they're lucky like that, but we are. So again, if you guys have any questions, put them in the comments below. I'm more than happy to answer any questions. Thanks for watching. We'll talk soon.